On this episode, I'm going to talk about my new video format, the Winnipeg Jets, and why complaining about the price of playoff tickets drives me crazy. Hey guys, Chris Turcott at Centa Mortgage Choice. Of course, go Jets go. Uh, game three today, we've got we've to really pull it together if we want to uh, get back in the game. It was a heartbreaker over the weekend. I'm sure you probably saw it. Um, I wanted to uh, pop in. First of all, you probably noticed the video format. I'm a little bit more relaxed. Y you know what? You guys don't want to sit here and watch a stuffy banker video. I completely get that. Uh, a lot of people will watch my videos and then be like, "You're completely different in person." And uh, I, th I think there's a, I think there's a, uh, a misconception that just because you're a banker, you've got to be this stuffy, rigid person. And uh, I, I say that's, that's stupid. I don't want to do that. I want to be that honest, relatable guy, and I want to know that I want you guys to know that the information I'm putting forward is my actual opinion, not what, not what. Not what the industry says I should say. Uh, I think my clients will attest to this if they're watching this. You're always gonna get the straight up answer with me. You're always gonna get uh, the best advice. I don't sugarcoat everything. Um, and I, I make sure that going forward, you know all your options and you know the positives and benefits to them. So I thought, you know what? Why am I not putting that into my video? So you're gonna notice a lot more um, kind of loose, uh, shooting from the hips kind of video. And I hope everyone's okay with that. Uh, if you're not, don't watch. Uh, now, uh, Winnipeg Jets. Like I was saying, luckily I get to go to uh, I get to go to Game Four, which is super exciting. But uh, so obviously I've been following things like playoff tickets and sales and everything like that, and uh, that's really what's inspired this video. I see a lot of people complaining about the price of playoff tickets. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll put a little disclaimer here. Uh, we lucked out. I've got a great friend that. You know, worked worked the website like crazy right at 10 a.m. He got us four tickets. We paid standard pricing, which was like $107 a ticket. That's awesome. Uh, but I get now that if you want tickets, it's costing anywhere from five to $600. And I hear a lot of people complaining that that's not fair. I get that, that's not fair. But on the flip side, something about that drives me nuts. And let me tell you what, you guys don't wanna pay the extra for playoff tickets because you don't wanna spend more money than you have to and you feel that it's not fair that you're paying more money than you have to. I couldn't agree more. That's for one game, one hockey game. But when it comes to your mortgage, you guys won't shop around. If I tell you you'll save a lot of money, you guys should really look into that. If you're worried about the $600 tickets, but you're not worried about the thousands of extra dollars on your mortgage. I'll give you an example. I always wanna be fact-based. I don't wanna just be like, hey, by the way, you'd save money and not give you some numbers. Let's do a $200,000 mortgage right now. Now, if you're following the, I won't name names, but I'm sure you've probably seen the commercials. There's two of them. The employee pr uh, pricing event, get the same rates as our employees, which I won't have an opinion about that, but uh, you've seen a lot of the um, employee pricing, a lot like car salesmen, but I won't speculate. Anyways, their standard rate right now is a 2.79 on a five-year fixed. We have a 2.64, so a difference of, for you mathematicians out there, 0.15. Now on a $200,000 mortgage, you're probably thinking, and the thing that breaks my heart, guys, by the way, is when I talk to somebody and they're like, oh, I totally forgot to come see you. I'm sure I got the best rate. This is what it was. But this is exactly one of those scenarios, guys. So the difference between a 2.79 and a 2.64 on $200,000 is $1,400. That's no coincidence. Oh, I can't buy Jets tickets because they're $600 each, so my wife and I can't go because that's $1,200 we don't have. But then stop throwing it away on your mortgage, guys. You're tossing that away to a bank that is never gonna buy you Jets tickets, by the way. You have to do your due diligence make sure you're giving us a call, shoot us an email, we're on Facebook, go to our website, we have live customer service. I wanna make sure we're saving you that money so that when the Jets make the playoffs next year, and they will, you've got that extra money in your pocket. See you later guys, go Jets go.